What's up, everybody? I am going to be continuing my movie collection, and before we get too too far into this, um, I'm going to need to backtrack a little bit, because I've gotten a lot of movies since last October when I recorded all those other videos. Um, so, uh, first up on the backtrack is Living Daylights, 007. Which I think has two discs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. The second one, I think, has the Bond girl on it. So I think that's who that is. Um, and then I got the newest 007, No Time to Die. Um, I watched that one not too long ago, and I don't want to spoil the ending, but... Um, it caught me by it didn't catch me by surprise because um one of my my friends kind of spoiled it for me uh because i had i had told him that i had, I had gotten the new 007 movies and like oh what do you think of them doing this at the end and i was like i haven't watched it yet whoopsie <laughs> um let's see and then we got um we got a movie recently called Nine Months. I think that is about a newlywed couple that is expecting their first kid. Because that's all I could think of for a nine-month time period is the time of pregnancy. Um, then I recently went to go visit some family in eastern Washington. And um, got a bunch of movies on that trip. One of them that I ended up getting for free was 21 Jump Street on Blu-ray. Um, let's see here, what else is new? Um, I don't remember if this was in my previous video or not, or, um, but I have 30 Days of Night on TV. Um... I think there's a sequel, but I want to try and watch this one before deciding to get the sequel, because I might not like this one. However, that being said, I'm a completionist, so I'll probably get the, the sequel anyways. But I might not uh, desire to, to get it and just end up doing it because I'm a completionist. Uh, let's see. Recently, I also got a uh, United Kingdom Blu-ray of Aladdin, the classic cartoon version. In the UK, I believe it is rated U for their version of rated G. Um, and the... Um, I'm not sure what that other one says, but it's kind of a... A... Uh, octagon shape with a G in it and some looks like a foreign language around the G. Um, and then I recently got a Blu-ray DVD combo pack for Alice Through the Looking Glass. That's the one with Johnny Depp, the live action versions. Um, the Blu-ray disc is basically the same, just in blue. I'll go ahead and show it though. Um, there it is. Um, so, let's see. Next up, we have another recent acquisition with American Beauty. And, um, I watched that one the day after I got it. And, um... It covers a touchy subject um, that will either be a turnoff for for viewers or um, flat out creep them out. Um, so that's all I'm gonna say about that is that it's um, a touchy movie. Um, New. Uh, 
I recently got a Blu-ray DVD combo pack of the Angry Birds 2, the movie version, not the, not the game. Um, and then I got Amish Latter-day Saints, blending, or er, yeah, blending two worlds into one. Um, that, that was a, a, a cool movie. I watched it with, uh, by myself and then shortly later watched it with dad and he seemed to enjoy it pretty well. Um, it is possible to blend Amish beliefs with that of, of um, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints because they're both family-oriented um, belief systems, from what it sounds like, at least. Um, then we got uh, Amps. Not sure why there's an M and an S on the disc, but... Maybe that's the initials of whoever owned it previously. I got it thrifted at um, Goodwill, I believe. Um, then we have... Um, uh, Babylon AD. Um, I'm flipping through case one, trying to find things that weren't in the two really long videos that I made that were 44-ish minutes and 34 minutes. Um, so here is the Poseidon Adventure and Blackbeard. Not sure which version of Blackbeard because I'm sure there's several. Um, and then we have The Curse of Tink King Tut's Tomb and Merlin's Apprentice right here. <laughs> you can see a tower I have constructed in the background there. Um, I actually started to disassemble it to put it on a larger gray base plate because um, it was getting too tall for me to to um, add on to. So I decided to make it wider and therefore probably shrink it a little. It'll still be pretty tall because there's lots of pieces on that. But um, next up, I got the third movie in the Blue Collar Comedy Tour um, series, One for the Road. Uh, this is an unrated edition, I guess. Um, Canadian 14A. So I think that translates to BG-13. But I, I'm largely familiar with the American rating system and the Canadian a little bit. Uh, then I got an, a weird one. Um, it's, I mean, it's it's not that it's a bad movie, like a bad weird, but it's 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 different. That's that's what I'll say about it. It's different, and we got body double. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to explain what what goes on in that one, but. It's kind of a murder, an, um, murder mystery of sorts. And then I got a second copy of the Book of Eli. Um, speaking of books, the Book Thief. That's a World War II story. Um, let's see. Uh, Another thing I got while I was being spoiled in Eastern Washington was a Blu-ray DVD combo pack for Brave from the from Pixar. It was the first disc of the Blu-ray and the second disc of the Blu-ray. And I previously showed off the DVD, so I 
don't think I need to do that again. And then I re I got a second copy of Bridge to Terabithia. This is the full screen version. Um, <laughs> remember when you used to have to choose between widescreen and full screen? That was interesting. Interesting uh, concept. Not sure why it looked like that, but it was. Uh, let's see, and then we got... Um, something you guys may have noticed in my previous videos is that I have my music CDs in with my movies. I count them as movies, though. Uh, or in my movie collection as movies instead of music. Um, I used to do the same thing with my my video games, but I never added them into my um, total and run times and whatnot, which is nearing uh, my my number of discs is twenty one hundred and six or twenty twenty six hundred and one. My bad. And the number in my actual collection is pretty close to three thousand now. I think. I think I have. Like 2962 or something like that. Um, one, one movie that will be a repeat that I talk about again is um, when we get to Disturbia. Because I found out that the only way to watch my HD DVD version was with an HD DVD player. It doesn't work in my Blu-ray player. It doesn't work in a DVD player. Not even a 4K system would be able to do it. You have to have a very specific um, system in order to use it. So I decided to switch it out for a standard DVD, and which has just a plain old black or gray disc. I might, I may show it, I may not. Um, but up next in the newer stuff that I've gotten is Centurion. Which looks like a like gladiator type movie of some sort on Blu-ray. My dad got me that from work uh, last Monday. So that was nice of him. Um, I'm just trying to find things that are new in my collection since last time I added, or the last time I recorded in October, so, um, I don't remember if I had these ones then. I have Cinderella Story with Hinder Hilary Duff, I believe is who that is. Um, and then with, um, Drew Barrymore, I believe it is Ever Asked After a Cinderella Story, I think is what that one's called. But I know it's definitely Ever After because it says that on the disc. But it's a Cinderella story. I don't think it, that Cinderella is in the title, per se. Um, last time around, I didn't go through and name the 50 musicals on 12 discs. Um, I could do that if... You guys really want me to, um, but on the first disc, I guess I'll go ahead and do and read the, what the first disc has on it. On the first disc, we have on side A, the fabulous Dorsey's and Calendar Girl. On side B, we have uh, Sunny and Swing Hostess. These are all from like the 20s to 50s, I think. Maybe the 60s, but they, I think most, the majority of them are black and white regardless of when they came out. Um, not, I don't think any of them have anything to do with each other. They're just a random compilation of classic musicals. Um, so, yeah. And then that is what's new from case number one. So I'm going to pause this, and I'll be right back with case number two. And 
which I think is where we left off, left off to begin with, but it will no longer be the case that we end, that we ended up on, or that, that has where we left off in it. That now has shifted to case three, and I have them all labeled. Um, case one is numerical through C's part one. Um, case two is going to be C's part two to DC universe part one or DC part one, something like that. Um, and then DC part two and or to G's part one is in case three and so forth. Um, I have so many Marvel properties that they take up about a case and a half. Uh, it takes up a, a full case for one that has like a 200 something capacity. And then 25% uh, of two other cases, I believe. I've got a lot of Marvel property. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Um, but yeah. For some reason, I couldn't live stream this like I wanted to. Um, because I don't have a thousand subscribers and I have not verified my account, I don't think. So that is a sour deal. Uh, YouTube, you should let anyone live stream if they want to. I don't have to have strict requirements. Now, it could be stricter, but it still is unfortunate. Think things through. All right, so um, next next up in the newer movies that I've gotten recently is Clock Stoppers. What if you had the power to stop time? And it has uh, it, it was a, a pretty good movie. Um, I might need to rewatch it a little bit because I started watching it when it was late at night and so I kind of fell asleep partway through it and missed a chunk of it I think if I'm remembering that correctly but it, the parts I remember seeing were pretty interesting so there you go uh, then we have Closer one I got at Goodwill recently I think like a week ago or so um, and then one called Confidence. Again, Goodwill. Uh, and then there's uh, Dawn of the Dead 2004. This is the uncensored director's cut. I wouldn't know what the theatrical cut is like, but I think this might have both versions on it. Maybe? I don't know. And then in that same vein, or in the same case, I mean, I got Land of the Dead from 2005. This is also a director's cut, unrated. Um, so that that's cool. Zombie movies. Hey. I enjoy zombie movies from time to time. And then we have The Day After, which looks like a nuclear apocalypse thing. Or nuclear warfare type thing with nukes on the disc. Um, very covered arrow. And the Batman 66 series. Batman the Animated Series with the two animated movies afterwards with Mask of the Phantasm and Batman Sub Zero, uh, Batman Mr. Freeze, I mean. Um, got all what is it, five, five seasons of Gotham. Um, and then Dad at work got me a, another copy of Batman Begins. I think that brings me up to seven of those. Um, actually, let's find out how many copies of Batman Begins do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. Wow, lucky guess. 
and then five copies of, uh, all right, five, four, four copies of the Dark Knight. I tried out the digital co copy, or the, the digital copy disc right here. It doesn't actually have content on it. It's, um, it's used as a, a disc that if you didn't have a digital code, or if you had a digital code, you can imprint it on this disc, I think. I think that's how that works. But it does not already have content on it. Which I was kind of bummed to find out, but eh, it is what it is. Um, then we have one, two, three, four, five, six copies of The Dark Knight Rises. It's weird that I have more Dark Knight Rises than Dark Knight, because I like The Dark Knight more than The Dark Knight Rises, but Dark Knight Rises is still a pretty solid Batman movie, in my opinion, at least. Um, and I can't remember if this was in my, my collection last time or not, but I have the first season of Legends of Tomorrow, DC Legends of Tomorrow on Blu-ray. Um, outside of Arrow Seasons 1 and 2, uh, the rest of the Arrowverse properties that I have are on Blu-ray. And we'll get to more of those as the video goes along. Looks like I'm already halfway through my allotted time of 42 minutes and 56 seconds. Um... Uh, where was I? Oh, for Christmas, my best friend Bryce got me a Blu-ray DVD combo pack for uh, Man of Steel. They have the same disc, they all have the same disc as the DVD copy I had initially, which looks like this. But now I have Blu-ray special features, Blu-ray the movie, and um, two DVDs of the movie with DVD special feature as well. And then we have a Blu-ray of the original Wonder Woman movie from 2017. I call that one the original, even though it's not the original actress who plays Wonder Woman, because that was be that would be Linda Carter, not not um, Gal Gadot. Um, And then a uh, Blu-ray of Wonder Woman 84. I kind of dug that movie. It was, it was pretty good. Um, the gold outfit was super cool. Um, and yeah, good movie. Uh, and then I got James Gunn's The Suicide Squad from 2021. Which I think I got in 2022. Just barely, I think. Um, now I have season two of the Doom Patrol as well. Um, I didn't watch enough of season one to be able to give give you guys a premise of that series. Um, some of the characters from Doom Patrol do show up in Titans, so I I have uh, I've seen through season two of Titans. And so I have an idea of who the Doom Patrol characters are, at least from the first season, I think, because I think the first season came out and then they appeared in Titans. And then they, after that, they had a second season. Uh, Titans, I think, is on their third season or will be soon. Um, oh, I'd like to tell you guys about a, a really good deal that I got on... Um, the Flash seasons four, five, and six at a, a store in, in Tacoma called High Voltage Records. I was able to get seasons four, five, and six of The Flash for a dollar each. Awesome. Um, I think when I was initially watching The Flash... I made it about halfway through season five before we canceled cable. 
and haven't been able to catch up on it since. Now I have the first six seasons and one of the Crisis on Infinite Earth crossover events. Um, so, yeah. The third season has uh, that picture on all four discs of Barry. Spoiler alert if you didn't know the Flash was Barry Allen, or one of the Flashes. There's also Wally West uh, and Jay Garrick and others. Um, then we have season four. A little bit hard to see. Um, I've noticed that the, a lot of these DC Blu-ray discs for the shows are um, real transparent. You can see through them pretty, pretty easily. Um, then we have season uh, what is that? Five? Yeah, season five. Um, and Season 6. And the crossover. Um, Crisis on Infinite Earths. I think this is part 3 of that crossover. Because I think it, it went to Earth 2nd. Because I think it did Arrow. Then Flash and Supergirl. Etc. For the crossover thing. Um... And I got a Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Deathstroke, Knights and Dragons, the movie. Pretty good story. Uh, standalone Deathstroke, no Batman in it at all, because uh, he's a Batman villain. Or Arrow's villain, if you ask. Uh, the Arrow show. I think he works either way. Fighting whoever he wants to fight. Um, then I got... I think this is an 8-pack? Yeah, an 8-pack of, uh, quote-unquote, the uh, best of DC animated movies, which features on the first, di or on one of the discs, Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and The Killing Joke. Also a Batman movie. Um, the second disc has The Death of Superman, Justice League vs. Teen Titans, and Justice League Dark. Um, I had all of these except for uh, Justice League vs. Teen Titans before getting this Best of combo collection. Um, but I enjoyed the all the movies that are on there, so I was I thought, eh, it was it was like two bucks or something or three. So I'm like, eh, seven repeats for one new title. That's okay. Um, Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay, Wonder Woman, the animated movie, and All-Star Superman are on this third disc here. And then we have Injustice, based on the video games and a graphic novel series. Um, Krypton, seasons one and two. I remember showing off the first... Or, see, or second season last time around. But since then I've gotten the first and second season on Blu-ray. In addition to the DVDs from, bef from before. For season two. Uh, so here's what the disc for season one looks like. The second disc had Lobo and um, Brainiac and Doomsday and another character that I'm not familiar with. Um... Yeah, I got a bunch of Smallville, which is I showed last time, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though, because I don't honestly remember. It's been a while. Um, then I have Supergirl Season 1, which is, um, which is visually textured to look like her outfit. Um, doesn't show up on camera very well, but, but, um... It, it it's it, it's not textured but it it looks like it is um, visual texturing is what I would call that and then season two of supergirl also on blu-ray with the, the really pretty blue um, blue is, is in my top three favorite color 
Wars. Um, yeah, I think that's all that's new in case two, so I'm gonna 